All right, so now we have same data, basketball players, only now we're doing standard deviation. Uh, we know, um, well, I'll tell you what, my, why don't you try doing this one by hand? That's just something. See if you can go through those steps. You've seen the video of somebody doing it by hand. Go through those steps and see if you can come up with the right answer. So hopefully you got the answer 2.2. .2. Let me just point out to you, if you got the answer 2, hole number 2, watch the next part of the video so you can see the explanation. So I've got the work done here. Rather than work it out, let's go through it. My guess is if you got the answer 2, you forgot that in the instructions, in the, um, in the written part, it said this was a sample of basketball players, which means when it comes to everything is the same, but when it comes time to do your division, when it's a sample right here, you do uh, n minus 1. You want n minus 1 for your, oh, that's a fancy arrow, n minus 1 that you divide by. So we had to divide by 5 instead of 6 because this was a sample. 24 divided by 5 gave us 4.8, and then we do the square root of that, and you get 2.19 which we rounded to 2.2. .2. If you got 2, it's because you divided by 6, thinking that it was a, a sorry, population instead of a sample. So to go through the steps, um, remember that you find the mean first. Mean was 79. We had to subtract 79 from everything. That got our distances. Oh, let's go back. Sorry. Let's go back to the uh, arrow. That's good times right there. There's our list of differences. Then we had to square all the distances. That's where this column came from. We added that list together and got 24. And then you divide 24 by either n or n minus 1, depending, uh, and then take the square root. Here's what it looks like. Remember, s squared is your variance. We're using the symbol s for standard deviation because it is a sample. Uh, so we did the numbers minus the mean. We squared all those numbers. We added them together. That's how we got 24. We divided by n, which was six numbers, minus one. That's how we got five, and we took the square root. So 2.2 .2 is the rounded answer. Um, let's show that on the calculator. Why don't you try doing it on the calculator? I'll do it here in the video um, if you want to double check what you're doing. And let's verify that we do, in fact, get 2.2. .2. So let's shrink everything, get a little video window up, and we'll be ready to go. Get our video ready. Okay, um, so we're going to do that last problem, only we're going to do it on the calculator. So again, hit your stat key. Oh, turn it on. That's a minor detail, I guess. Hit the stat key. You want to make sure that you go to edit so you can put your list of numbers. Now, I've got these numbers filled in here already just from doing them from the other problems. So I'm not going to enter them again. But remember, to do that, you just choose a spot, like I could go to L3 and start typing them in. Hit stat. Now that I know they're there, calculate. I'm doing one variable statistics, which is already highlighted, so I hit enter. My calculator wants to know where the numbers are in. Coincidentally, they're in both lists, but I'm going to put list 2 is the one that I noticed, so I'm going to do second 2 and make sure that it says L2 and hit enter. Notice that it gives me X bar, which is the sample mean, which we knew was 79. It gives me some other information. SX is sample standard deviation. There you see the 2.19 that we calculated by hand. And then you see the population standard deviation, that sigma symbol, is 2. So that's doing it using, um, using technology. And then we could scroll down here. Median, 78.5. You did that on a previous video. And mean, we did on a previous video. What, the only thing it doesn't give you is mode. So that's it.